Hello, and again, welcome to the woods near Rudy, Arkansas. I'm going to be doing a couple of videos for you about the Stoker Coach Gun. In the next video, I'm going to be moving through a house and dry firing at targets. But on this video, I want to focus on the loading and reloading technique I'm going to use because it'll probably be harder to see when I'm moving through the house. I've got two empty 12 gauge holes I'm going to go ahead and put in the Stoker Coach Gun. You should also notice I've added a butt cuff to this shotgun and I've got it full of plastic snap caps, simulated ammunition. So, here's what it might look like if you were shooting in self-defense. So you've got two in the gun and you shoot twice and now you've got to unload. You've probably seen the cowboy action guys unload by doing this. That's because they've had a custom job done to their gun's chambers. They've been slicked up so the shells just fall out. This gun hasn't had that done, so you got to reach in there and dig them out. I'm going to grab the next two shells and not look at them until I get ready to put them in the gun. Put them in the gun, go back to work. Unload without looking, grab the next two, look long enough to get them in the gun. Unload the gun without looking, grab the next shell, look long enough to get it in the right barrel. Front trigger, boom. And that's how you might load and unload the Stoker Coach Gun rapidly in self-defense. Hello, and uh, here's another Stoker Coach Gun video. Some good friends of mine have arranged me to be able to use this wonderful historic home to maneuver through with this shotgun. There's going to be a lot of space and a lot of rooms to go through. But what's going to happen is... We're going to set up four cardboard ipsic style targets. They're going to be scattered throughout the house. I'm not going to know where they are. And I'm going to have to maneuver through this house by operating this coach gun. I've got two spent shells and five snap caps, dummy simulated ammunition. And it'll be my job to try to find the targets, uh, shoot once or twice, whatever I think needs to happen, and then speed, unload, and reload this shotgun. So here in just a few minutes, we'll start going through this house. The targets have been placed. I don't know where they're at. And this camera is going to follow me as we go around here and look for these, these targets. Now, two of these targets have remote cameras on them, so we'll be able to edit in what it looks like from the target's point of view. But here we go. So that was me moving through a house looking for four targets and I didn't know where they were located and I'm not familiar with this house at all. As you can see, this is not a shoot house. This is a beautiful, wonderful historic home, but this is sort of like a real situation. Uh, you don't know where the targets are going to be at. You got to go find them. If you practice your loading and reloading technique with the Stoker Coach Gun, it might actually be an effective self-defense tool.